this is the Rodecaster Duo, which is a two channel version of the Rodecaster Pro 2. Okay. So you got two combo jack inputs, um, so you can connect XLR microphones, or you can connect quarter inch inputs, so a guitar or a line level instrument like a synthesizer. Plug these in in the back. Uh, you have the same audio processing as the Rodecaster Pro 2, so uh, all powered by AFEX. Um, Get completely advanced professional processing on board. You can connect microphones, you can connect uh, wireless microphones as well. So something like the or the wireless Mi over here. You can assign that to any of these microphone channels and pair a wireless transmitter for wireless recording. There is a setting for this in the in the so so was it there in the previous? Uh, it is in the previous one. We're releasing firmware that will unlock that next week. Okay. Um, you can also connect a headset. There's a TRRS input at the front for connecting headsets. Okay. Um, we have the smart pads here for triggering sound effects and voice effects, uh, mixer actions, um, MIDI control. All of that can be programmed onto these smart pads. You got a. Uh, two headphone outputs for connecting headphones for monitoring on the fly. There's also two USB outputs for connecting to two computers. Uh, you can connect a phone via USB, you can connect a phone via Bluetooth. Uh, so there's lots of different audio options for audio connectivity. Okay, and then what's the smaller stuff on the side? This here is the Streamer X. So it's a video capture card and an audio interface combined into one device. So you have a HDMI input, HDMI pass-through, 4K30 uh, video capture, 4K60 pass-through, and then you have an audio interface built in too. So you have a XLR microphone input for connecting an XLR mic, or you have a headset input for connecting a headset, a gaming headset, anything like that. Or you have a wireless receiver as well, just like this. You can connect a wireless microphone like the wireless me. Yeah. It's got smart pads. It's just the same as the ones on the Rodecaster Pro and Rodecaster Duo. So they are for triggering sound effects and voice effects, MIDI action. You can use it to uh, change scenes in your streaming software. Uh, if you're doing a video presentation, you can use them to change your slides. Um, really, really flexible, all in one unit for um, for live streaming. So, um, would I say the the 4K capture is like a streaming device now? Exactly. And so at the moment, we have the this DSLR camera. Yeah. That's going into the HDMI input. Yeah. And then that's being sent that's to sent, yeah. OBS as your streaming software. Yeah. Wow. So that's being used as the this is being used as the video feed and the audio feed. Okay. Yeah. So that can that work independently of the. Um, cast out the road. Um. These are two separate. Yeah, I know. Completely separate devices. Know, so you can use this for all of your audio. Yeah. And you can use that for You'll your. You'll get video. better result if you use it for audio. Is that's what we're saying. I, I would suggest using this if you need more audio inputs. Okay. Because this only has the one microphone input. Oh, the one. If you need, if you need multiple inputs, I would use something like this. How much? Uh, the, what's the price is like? So this is coming out next month. It should be three ninety nine. This is also coming out next month. It should be four ninety nine. And then the Rodecaster Pro 2, which has more inputs, that's a 699. Yeah. Uh, so that is not out now. The Both of these uh, we just announced, yeah. they're coming out next week. Okay. I'm sure we can. Okay. All right. This cool, is man. interesting. And, and I think, uh, was this, uh, was it Road I saw uh, talking about um, uh, 332 bit float? Uh, Pod mic? That's uh, not the pod mic. That's the NT1 fifth generation. Okay, 32 bit float. Um, can it be used for podcasts? Of course. Yeah, yeah. So great, really nice voiceover mic if you want to use it for voiceovers. All right. Uh, uh, when is it available? This one is available now. Oh, great! Yeah, so you can buy this one now. Yeah. Right now, and it's for 249. 249, correct. Great, great. Wow. So. Uh, Explain, explain to me a little bit more about the mic, like yeah, yeah. How, did, how it works, like do we have to, can we get that if two bit float stream immediately or? No, no, so you need to set it up with a digital audio workstation, a yeah. recording software that can accept 32 bit float signals. Yeah. Um, then you just set up your session as a 32 bit session. And that means when you record audio in there, it sends a 32-bit float 
um, audio stream, and that means uh, it has really, really wide dynamic range. Yeah. So if you're recording and the audio clips, um, you can have more headroom to work with, meaning yeah. you can just pull your audio down after yeah. recording and the clipping will go away. Yeah. Yeah. So you okay. need to use it with software that can accept 32-bit float. Um, so there will be post-production with the 32-bit float. Exactly. Is there a connection like most 32-bit float devices? They have um, a line out, sort of, so that you could capture like a controlled version, not exactly 32 bit right. float. Is that something like no, no, that? No, no, so this is all happening over USB. Mm. So it's all happening through the digital. Oh, output. this is a USB device? It's a USB and XLR. Ex okay. yeah, yeah, so if you have a look. On the bottom here. Okay. So it's got an XLR it. output, as you see in there as well. It's yeah. also got a, U a USB output. Okay. So Where's the USB? It's inside the inside connector. The, oh. yeah, yeah, we built it into the same Oh, thing. so you choose one mm -hmm. of the two. Yeah. Okay.